The other week we talked about using tap water in your hydroponic system and whether or not that's a good idea. I've opted to use rainwater, or in my case, snow water, which it's very much still winter in this part of the country. Even with using this melted snow, I'm still seeing impurities in the water. And that kind of makes me wonder if we can't do better. Carbon is a readily available and cheap source for filtration. It's used in a number of applications, not only just to filter water, but also air. It has a really big surface area, so that means that certain elements and chemicals or impurities that are passing through this carbon become trapped inside of it and are unable to escape. So this means that while we can remove some elements and chemicals, we can't remove all of them. Charcoal filters are most effective at removing sediment, chlorine, and volatile organic compounds, uh, as well as taste and odor from water. They are not very effective at removing all minerals, salts, or inorganic compounds from water. It also means that once all the bonding sites within the carbon are filled, the filter stops working and would have to be replaced. I wanted to see if I could create a basic gravity carbon filter to filter some of the impurities out of my rainwater. I started with a two liter bottle and cut off the bottom. I added a hole to the cap and I was essentially ready to start adding my filtration media. I added some bunched up nylon mesh to prevent any carbon from escaping the filter. For the bottom layer, I added the activated charcoal. I got uh, my carbon from a local pet store, it's quite affordable. I used a nylon mesh which I cut to fit between the layers. Uh, I put my cut mesh on top of the carbon and added some rinse sand as a second stage filter. I then added another layer of mesh followed by some gravel. Although I didn't expect the gravel to do much as there really isn't any large particle sizes to filter. I was ready to add the water, but as soon as I did, there was an obvious problem. Dust from the rocks and carbon were making its way through the filter into the final filtered water, making the final product actually less pure than what I started with. After a few more attempts, I was noticing that the water was becoming more clear, but when I checked this with my TDS meter, it actually showed that there was still more impurities than what I started with. There was one exception, however, where it looked like the filter removed a small amount of impurities. However, when I tried to repeat the result again and again and again, they all showed that I wasn't actually removing any dissolved solids from my water. So I wasn't ready to admit defeat. So I decided, okay, let's add another layer of carbon another layer of sand and another layer of gravel to see if we could get better results. After a while, I thought, well, maybe my water is just too pure or contain no impurities that the carbon could remove. So I started to test my tap water. I figured it had a much higher TDS reading so that would be more chances of actually filtering impurities out. I thought it would see results and I did until I tried to repeat the process, which then I realized I wasn't seeing results anymore. It was just the same reading I was starting with. Now, maybe you guys already know what I was doing wrong here, but it took me a couple minutes to figure it out. All I was doing was diluting the tap water with the previous rainwater I had in there before. This was further proved when I added in rainwater after having the tap water in there, my TDS rose because it was now saturated with tap water. And then when I added tap water again, which was saturated with rainwater, all I was doing was diluting the tap water. Now this can be because TDS really isn't a good measure of purity of water. Anything that has uh, a TDS reading of 300 parts per million or less is rated as excellent by the World Health Organization as great drinking water. So we might not actually see results until we're seeing impurities in the range of a thousand plus parts per million. So can you use a homemade carbon filter to filter your tap water or your rainwater? Well, yeah, you can, but don't expect to see any great results aside from possibly removing some of the chlorine and making your water smell better. I ended up filing my filter away in a special place to perhaps revisit one day but I have a feeling I'm probably just going to save up for a five-stage RO filter. Thanks for watching.